Hello and welcome to this course on the Ecosays. Ecosays? Ecosays? However you pronounce it. This is a piece, Mar Giuliani. Great little piece. It has some really unique little challenges in it. They're not unique. They happen a lot in different uh, guitar music. I'm excited to get into them with you because you'll find a lot of the issues that you'll see in this piece you'll see everywhere and in, in other places. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take an overview of the piece, get the lay of the land, notice what are the things that we're going to need to look at, uh, what lies ahead, and then also get a game plan for this course. So let's dive in. Well, from the beginning, we can just look at some basic information about our piece. We're in 2-4 time. What does that mean? It means that uh, there are two beats per measure. That's the top number. Quarter note gets the beat. That's the bottom number, the two and the four. So that's what we're going to be doing. Also, if we just glance through here, we can look and see that we have eighth notes. They're just everywhere. That means that we're going to be counting one and two and one and two and the entire time. Even if there's a measure with no eighth notes in it, um, or there's no eighth notes on a, on a beat, like a quarter note like that, then we're still going to be counting eighth notes just to keep the time steady. So, and we'll talk more about that. The next thing is that there are no sharps and flats in the key signature. That means that we are probably in the key of C or the key of A minor, one or the other, because that's the two keys that have zero sharps or flats. But what we also do have, just glancing through, is this, which is an accidental, just the random sharp or flat hanging out. Here it is again. It's also involved in this grace note that we'll talk about in a second. And there's a, another sign right there. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So those are accidentals. We'll, t we'll talk about those. And um, in general, the random sharp moves things up one fret, up, down in space. So from the open G to the first fret. And so we'll just be prepared to see that. The next thing is that we'll just look at the roadmap for this. So the first thing I'm looking at is Okay, I can just glance through and look at, here is a repeat sign right in the middle. And this is a double repeat, meaning it has repeat, I mean it has dots on both sides. And what this means is that we'll have this first section, we'll call it the A section, and it will go twice. So we'll go through to the right there, and then we'll repeat it again. And then we'll have the B section, and the B section starts here, B, and goes through to here, Oh, and then there's a repeat sign at the end, which means that we go back and do it again. So we do each twice. So our form so far is AA and then BB. Now, we also have this right here, which is the DC alfine. And what does this mean? DC means de capo. It's an abbreviation for de capo. It means go back to the top. Go back to the top. And play it again until you see the word fine, which is where it's right here. So then we'll just go through to right there. So our total form in the end is A, A, B, B, A, ABBA. So this is our form. We'll play these sections in this order. Now, the way this course is laid out is that instead of just jumping in to the entire piece, because it's a lot of notes on the page, Instead, we break this up into really small little sections. And each of those sections we can just work on as if none of the other one existed. We could just take as long as we need for each second. And I've delineated these by these rehearsal numbers right here, this number one, number two. Um, now, I just want to say a little bit of something about this, and that is that, so one goes to here. We cross over the bar always with our little sections. And number two goes until right here. not all the way to the number three. The reason being is that I just couldn't figure out in my program how to put another little one right here because this is actually the first section repeated again. Um, but my rehearsal numbers were going in order. And so just know that this section goes to right here and you'll see this. Um, and then we have this repeat. It just repeats this first part of number one again. And then we have three down here. The exact same thing happens in, in four and five we're going to go back here and this is from here this is four again so it, the exact same thing happens down there so it's actually we have some repeated material which is a nice little bonus um, because you get to play it and you've already done the work once you go through the first section and you've already got got the work done so that is the game plan 
Um, just a quick bit of trivia as well. Mauro Giuliani was the fella who was, um, is credited with organizing guitar music onto the staff. He's a big, he's kind of a big cheese in the, in the guitar world. So we just take it for granted. We have these stems going up and that's a melody line and we've got these stems going down and that's a bass line. He was the one to start doing that and start putting that into his printed music. And so we can really thank him. Before that, it was tablature. And it was, you know, like the number of lines that the, the, the instrument had with numbers on them. Three, zero, four. And then above that would be the note value. An eighth note. This is a quarter note. This is a half note. And so you'd have to go through that way and, and just kind of figure it out. And so instead, he started putting it on. Other people were putting it on the, on the staff, but he actually organized it this way. And so thanks, Mauro, for doing that because it's a much nicer way to look at it. It gives us a lot more information. The, um, also, one more thing that we'll talk about is these dynamics right here, loud and soft. And, um, and we'll talk more about those. P means loud, piano, and F forte means loud. P means soft, did I just say loud? P means soft, piano, and F means forte, short for forte, meaning loud. And we'll talk about that. It doesn't mean just play it steadily soft. I mean, there's still going to be all this stuff going on in there. And this doesn't mean just shout, you know, you know there's all this stuff in there. But um, it's a general vibe. This first part is generally softer. This second part is generally louder. And we'll talk more about it. All right, that is our overview of the piece. See you in the first section.